welcome back back with another banger it's the react files where we react to the creepiest craziest scariest tiktoks that you should not watch alone i hope you're having a good night but before we go any further let's take a second just to hit that like subscribe hit that notification bell just to make sure the algorithm know what's up so what we gonna do run these numbers up yo let's get straight to it the hidden egypt is it possible that the heart of the biblical egypt was in the americas let's talk about it now when it comes to looking for the geographic locations of certain civilizations using the description from the books that talk about these civilizations such as the bible talking about egypt one of the best clues of finding a geographic location of a civilization is to look at the description of the big famous body of water that is next to these civilizations for example the most famous body of water next to egypt according to the bible happens to be the nile now let's take a look at one of the descriptions of what the bible says about the nile river this is isaiah chapter 11 verse 15 and the Lord shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea, and with his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river, and shall smite it in the seven streams, and make men go over dry shud. So in the book of Isaiah, it says that the Nile has seven major streams. However, when you look up the modern African Nile, it only has three main tributaries, three main streams. But the Bible states that the Nile has seven streams. So when discussing ancient Egypt, the focus has to be on the Nile River system of the White Nile and the Blue Nile, which is allegedly the longest river in the world at 4,132 miles long. However, when you combine the Mississippi River system of the Missouri River, 2,540 miles, and the Mississippi, 2,340 miles, you have a total length in miles of 4,890, which is 758 miles longer than the Nile River system that is in Africa. So yes, the Mississippi River system is the longest, which is a strong indication that it was your first Nile River system. So the Mississippi River has seven major streams, and it flows into the Gulf of Mexico, which possibly can indicate that the Gulf of Mexico was once known as the Egyptian Sea in the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 15. Additional clues can be found with a quick study of the etymology of the name Missouri. You will learn that it's just a corruption of the word Mitzrayim. Who was Mitzrayim? Mitzrayim, according to the Bible, was the son of Ham. He was the younger brother of Cush, and the elder brother of Phut and Canaan, the Phoenicians. Those families together made up the Hamite branch of Noah's descendants. So Mitzrayim is the Hebrew word for Egypt. So yeah, as I've stated, the modern African Nile only has three main tributaries, three main streams coming from the Nile, but the Bible states that there are seven. The Mississippi has seven major streams. It is one of the longest rivers in the world, and it flows into the Mexican Gulf, or what is possibly the tongue of the Egyptian Sea. Mitzrayim is the Hebrew and Aramaic name for the land of Egypt. Mitzrayim is the dull form of Matzor, meaning a mound or fortress, the name of a people descended from Ham. It was the name generally given by the Hebrews to the land of Egypt and its people. You have mounds found all over the Americas, but especially all up and down the Mississippi River. In fact, you have so many mounds built along the Mississippi River, the academics have named the people that built them the Mississippi Mound Builders. This is a significant fact because mounds are associated with Mitzrayim, which is Egypt. You have virtually no mounds in Africa. Therefore, the sheer number of mounds in the Americas and pyramids in the Americas is a strong indication that America is Mitzrayim. So yes, it's a fact that the Americas have more mounds and pyramids than all of Africa combined. Now, there are more clues to suggest that the heart of ancient Egypt was in the Americas, such as the biblical reference to ancient Egyptian corn, which could possibly be referring to corn mostly from Egypt, Texas. Since corn is only indigenous to the Americas, and since Texas is still a large producer of corn, for example, in Genesis chapter 42, verses 1 through 3, it says this. Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do you look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither, and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. I'll show you some other references to corn in Matthew 12, verse 1. At Questions. questions or doubts Look, the government why haven't i seen proof if you did find proof what would that change everything the truth is everything to me truth <laughs> it can also bring pain what do y'all think about that 
That was pretty deep. I never heard of it. It was a mind-blowing theory to think about, right? Especially when it got on that corn, right? Indigenous to America. Bro. Something to think about. What y'all know? What y'all think about that one? Drop it in the comment down below. For sure. That's that, that man. That could be a whole nother, you know what I'm saying? Whole nother path. That's a whole nother rabbit hole. That's what that is, bro. Yo, let me know. Let me know. Continue on talking about the CERN uh, collider and, 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 and its real agenda. Okay, so <laughs> we're on a verge of a paradigm shift. They've cracked open a uh, portal or doorway or whatever you want to call it from another dimension. Uh, by their own admission, they are already in communication with some something that has a personality and has ability to communicate. Um, and the, the information that they're receiving must be very high level information because th they're feeding it to, to laboratories and uh, technologies all across the planet. And w w what you said, which is so sobering, uh, that video on the internet that captured the, it was an open satanic worship ceremony, I guess in the Goddard Tunnel. Yes. And uh, I saw it and I was like, my mouth hung open because it was so in your face, Luciferian and satanic. I would say we've probably not seen something that bold in the mainstream media. No, we haven't. In our lifetime. No, no. And, you know, um, th there, there's been an escalation and it, and it keeps getting faster and more bold and more prominent. The Illuminati symbols at the Super Bowls and these giant... Uh, musical performances in stadiums by music superstars and the Olympics. There are in your face occult messages and satanic messages and symbols, uh, which tells you there's a very powerful uh, Luciferian elite in this world, very active, and they're not hiding anymore. No, they're, they're they've, not. They, they've come out. Because they've progressed in their timeline to the point where they feel invulnerable and no longer have to hold back. In fact, they want to be more bold about it so that they can gather themselves more converts to their way. That would make pull sense. away from us. Yeah, that would make sense because here in the U.S. we have this uh, rise in uh, the, the satanic uh, uh, churches. Exactly. Uh, Someone has clearly been editing Lilo and Stitch, because this is the version of Lilo and Stitch I have where she clearly hides in a dryer. She is not in a cabinet with a pizza box on it. So I think someone's done some clever editing. All right, for those who don't know what this is, this is in Switzerland. This was about five to seven years ago. So when I did the research on this, they said this was a railroad opening ceremony. Okay, a railroad opening ceremony. But as you can see, I don't see no railroads here. I mean, you can see the tracks right there, right? You can see the tracks right here. But what kind of ceremony would you need to invite uh, goat heads, um, skull heads, uh, Baphomet looking people, you know, Satanists, devils? Like, what kind of ceremony would you need in order to invite this type of uh, entity? Then, when you know who their God is, their Lord, you know what I'm saying, uh, Satan, Lucifer you can see what it's really all about you know so they are calling their lord in because they know it is the time the time is in you just seen the lights turn to red so let me know what y'all think leave your comments down below so yeah that's the ritual ceremony that the guy was talking about in the previous video what do y'all think about that do you think they tie together or was it just a coincidence Many things to say about CERN. <laughs> CERN. CERN is a uh, scary ass company in Switzerland. Their biblical historians pinpointed the land where the Bible has claimed that Satan sits on a throne at. That is Geneva, Switzerland. Yeah. And then CERN opens up their f 
headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. The point of their company is that they want to open portals to new dimensions. Yeah. That's literally what, like their mission statement on the Legit. website. There was videos too where they were like dancing around and doing a ritual in front of the statue. Yup. Like, in front on, of bro. like those pagan deity statues I was yeah. just talking wait, about. Wait, wait, wait. What is like, what do they sell? How are they able to fund Dude, money? Dude, like, I don't know who's funding. I think like Scientology? It, no, I, no, it's worse, low key. It was just the elites, dog, oh. the rich people. Yeah, don't say those words. Yeah. The European Organization for Nuclear Research. So that was the thing is that they are spinning atoms, but they're basically they're trying to use like the same technology for like nuclear energy mm. to open portals to other dimensions. They're doing it on like some pagan holiday. Everyone's dressed up in like animal heads. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. have a big oh, statue of like one of these up deities, right? Yeah. And they're all doing weird dance. It's scary. Yeah. Like the type of music they're making just sounds hellish, like like from hell. But you know what's crazy? It's like they'll do all that and be like, guys, this is crazy. And everyone be like, oh, you're overthinking it, That's man. That's what I'm saying. It's like right oh, in your face. Like he was like, don't say those words. But yeah, he makes a good point. They put it right in your face. Let me know in the comment down below. Have you ever heard of sir? May God bless his soul. I wonder what he was doing up there. If anyone can translate what they were saying, please let me know in the comment down below. That was intense. That was truly scary. That was creepy as fuck. This is a crypt in the catacombs of Paris. Like any major city, Paris sits atop a complex network of tunnels and underground spaces. Unlike other cities, however, under Paris are chambers containing the remains of more than 6 million people. During the 1700s, the graveyards of the city were beginning to overflow. A new place was needed to store the bones of the dead. Over the course of several years, a mineshaft and other existing tunnels were repurposed to store millions upon millions of skeletons. Today, some parts of these catacombs are open to tourists, while others are used for secret concerts and parties. Occasionally, a visitor to the catacombs will lose their flashlight or become lost, and wander for hours or even days before being rescued or stumbling upon an exit, no doubt grateful that they won't be joining the millions of dead beneath the streets of Paris. Now this blew my mind. There's a theory on Barbie. You know Elf, Buddy the Elf, the Christmas movie. Buddy the Elf is connected to the Lego movie, and the Lego movie is also connected to Barbie, which is also connected to Elf. So check this out, Buddy the Elf. What is he really good at? He was really good with toys and making the toys. Remember the scene in the mall where he built a huge Empire State Building out of Lego? In the Lego movie, Will Ferrell, who played Buddy the Elf, was the big boss. The dad in the Lego movie. 
and then in the basement of the room, he has like a whole city made out of what? Legos and big skyscrapers, just like how Buddy the Elf would have made. We know in the Lego movie, the boss dad, played by Will Ferrell, was the boss of some big company. That's why he's like that. That's how he was kind of like treating his kid like that. And Barbie, we see Will Ferrell playing what? A boss, the CEO. Also intro of the Lego movie and the intro of Barbie are identical. Yeah, I'm gonna ask for y'all help on that one. I have no clue. I think I may have seen pieces of Elf, but the Barbie movie and Lego movie, I haven't seen it. If y'all think that's right, what they just said, leave a comment down below. Enlighten me. Even your children are being murdered at school. Your mother is being shot at the grocery store. Your sister wants to go see the new Marvel movie and she didn't make it out alive because somebody bought in an AR-15. I'm going to DreamCon next year. It's in Texas. I might not make it out alive. This is America. Can't get health care. Can't afford your diabetes medication. Hell, they won't even forgive your student loan. They'll fund a genocide with your tax dollars. This is America. Hey, yo, the new dispensary just opened down the street. Cool, right? Until you realize your cousin was put in jail for selling an ounce of marijuana. Now he's labeled a felon. He has no access to public housing, to education. Hell, he can't even vote, but he's gonna pay taxes. This is America. They're gonna send your son off to war and tell you that it's for the betterment of the people on the other side. It's for oil. Hell, you'll come back as a veteran if you're lucky enough to be black, the police will shoot you in the street. This is America. You'll come back as a veteran riddled with PTSD, anxiety, and depression. You might have lost a limb. You might have lost an eye. Hell, the VA hospital may have lost your medical history. Now you're homeless. You think the government's gonna come to your aid? Of course not, they have war crimes to fund. This is America. You'll teach them to build. You'll teach them how to use spices. You'll teach them how to use soap. You'll provide them with skin hides, food, shelter, and then they'll kill you, displace you, and steal your land. This is America. So what exactly do they have to do before we start taking advice from the Irish? Hey, she got that one off. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with what she just said? What she just spoke? It is what it is. Dead, dead simple. So yes, yeah, stop stressing. But we don't understand. We think stress is just by, you know, having a baby mama that nag all the time. Stress is by having a man that, you know, uh, uh, that, that's in the household yelling and ruling his house with her iron feet. Stress is having bad children running around the house. That is a part of stress. But you never think about the stressful entities and things that you put in your body called foreign matter. Foreign matter is food that you ain't supposed to be eating. That's stressful to the body. That's stress. Drinking soda pops. That's foreign to the body. That's stress. Them are polysaccharides. The body don't know what to do with that. That's sugar. That's complex sugar. That's stressful to the body. You see what I'm saying? Drinking alcohol all the time. That's stressful. Smoking cigarettes. That's some of those stressful things you can do. So, so when I'm talking about stress, I'm talking about anything that's not conducive for your body to be at peace. That's stress. Anything that stop your body from eliminating, that's stress. Anything that slow down your body elimination detoxification process, that's stress. Anything that brings emotional molecules that's not of dopamine, it's stress. Cortisol is stressful as fucking hell. Adrenaline that's produced by the adrenal glands, that's stressful. That puts you in a state of fight or flight. The cells cannot fight and protect and grow at the same time. It's impossible. It's impossible for the cells to fight and grow at the same time. It's going to pick to do one or the other. Yeah, that was wisdom right there. Fight or flight, one or the other. What y'all think about that? The American people are the biggest slaves of any citizenship in the entire world. Mm. And let me tell you why. Because the American people are the only people that are told, go work super hard, go, go take a massive amount of your life, and we're going to take at least half your money, all right? And then when we take half your money, we're going to send it overseas, or we're going to mismanage it, or we're going to steal it, or we're going to funnel it back into our political contributions, or we're going to send it over here for quote-unquote aid, okay? Where's our motherfucking aid? Where's our aid from, from Kuwait or any of these other rich countries to fix our homeless problem? Do you ever notice that none of the other citizens on the planet work so that we can have a better here in America? It's always the other way around. Why the fuck are we, the citizens of the United States of America, financing the well-being of every other fucking country in this planet? Okay? Until people wake up to that and say no more, shit's going to continue. This land of the free, that's a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke, dude.
land of the free, land of the motherfucking worker bees is what we are. We work and work and work and work and work and work and work. Government takes more than half of our money. And you say, oh, well, they don't take half of mine. You know, they only take half of the rich people's money. Oh, really? What do you pay when you buy shit? What do you pay when you own shit? What do you pay on your personal property? What do you pay when you put gas in your car? Okay, and if you add all those things up that you pay, they're taking 50% of your money too. And they're telling you to work, 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 the American dream, the American dream, the American dream. And then we'll take half your shit and we send it to other countries. We are the world's ATM. The people of America are the world's ATM. It needs to end. People need to say no more. They need to get smart about taxes. Do you ever question why you weren't taught personal finance, balancing your checkbook, or taxes when you were in high school? Why isn't that part of the public education? Why are they teaching instead gender ideology and all this fucking bullshit? Because they want you to be financially ignorant so that you will go through your life not realizing how much they're actually oppressing you and how much they're actually stealing from you. And then they're gonna tell you this is freedom. No, the f it isn't. Well said, well said. With great passion, he spoke volumes. Hard to deny what he was saying. Maybe there's others who don't feel that way. Let me know in the comments down below. And that's a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed tonight's rabbit hole. And if you haven't already, hit that like. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, just to make sure this algorithm know what's up. Together, we'll run these numbers up. Thanks again. Until next time.